Hello, and welcome to today's presentation on Niels Bohr, a Danish physicist. He was born in Copenhagen on October 7, 1885. His father was an eminent physiologist, and his mother was a wealthy Jew from a family who was distinguished in education. He was responsible for the Bohr model, the theory of complementarity, and he worked on the Manhattan Project. Today, now, Niels Bohr was a pretty neat guy, figured out a lot of stuff on which science relies. He and his brother went to soccer as kids, but you best be thankful that it all he did. No. Now his father a physiologist, so Niels became a physicist, a pretty famous scientist he was to become. He started out at Copenhagen, taught by Christian Christensen. His journey had begun, his time to shine had come. The path for Niels began to unravel to Manchester, he decided to travel. He began to build up a new foundation for a soon-to-be great scientific reputation. Then he met Ernest Rutherford, whose new idea is struck a chord. Niels was all aboard the atomic model he designed. Why didn't it implode, he It seemed an impossible test, but in a flash he would unmask mass electron orbits were defined. The Bohr model is a simple way of representing the hydrogen atom. The theory suggests that electrons only travel along defined orbits and, therefore, now. Niels Bohr was a pretty neat guy, figured out a lot of stuff on which science relies. A model of the atom he discover and build, but his full potential was not yet fulfilled. At Copenhagen, he became their physics professor, and with his fresh scientific skills no lesser, he shocked the whole scientific community with his new ideas at every opportunity. A new institute he founded, and it was soon about it with new ideas that astounded and shocked the physics land. While to nobody's surprise, the 22 Nobel Prize was before in Neil's eyes his ideas in demand. Now, Niels Bohr was a pretty neat guy, figured out a lot of stuff on which science relies. With the Nobel in hand, he was second to none, but this physics giant was not yet done. He now came up with complementarity, which stated that things were fine contradictory, like light being both a particle and a wave, but Einstein didn't like how that would behave. Or like probability, which caused some hostility, and Einstein disliked the possibility, which led to much debate. So however, despite the constant physics fight, the two were all right, so pretty fine mates. Way to America, born I moved to help with the project of which he disapproved. Down in New Mexico, the bombs of Manhattan were developed for the purpose of Japan to flatten. Bohr wanted peace, the bombs to cease, the hate to decrease, but he went unheard. As soon as war was done, he was back to Copenhagen. Yeah, Bohr had had his fun. New age of physics bird. Niels Bohr was a pretty neat guy. Figured out a lot of stuff on which science relies. He and his brother went to soccer as kids, but, but you, you best, best be thankful that it all he did. did. But you best be thankful that it all he did. <laughs>